Hi guys, Monkey Boys back with another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And today we have to go to the dreaded abandoned mine shaft. We need to get some melon seeds, and that's the only place I know to go. So we're gonna jump on Scalper here, make our way over to our old area. Come on, jump, boy. You know, we're going to have to get a real horse one of these days, too. He can't even jump two blocks. So let's help him out. Let's get him out of here. You know, it'd probably be faster if I did this. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to head over to where we originally spawned in at. Uh, within that cave... I did see a abandoned mine shaft, so that's going to be the first time that we'll go in there. And also today, you know, who knows what might come up and what we decide to do. Uh, I know that I would like to gather some animals and get some sort of ranch going. Uh, a ranch and farm is on my list. We need to build uh, some buildings. So we've got so much to do and not enough time to do it in so at least we have plenty of plenty of episodes that will be up and coming but right now uh, on the forefront is making sure that we keep our experience up so experience farming on the skeletons is going to be the best bet so I'm gonna make my way over to spawn and uh, once I get near the Abandoned mine shaft. Uh, we'll pick you up and see what we can come up with over there. Well, here we are, guys. This might look familiar back in the first couple episodes. I forgot what's even in here. Really, nothing worth having, but we may take it over to our new location. So, I'll show you how I found this abandoned mine shaft and how we get there from here. There's still some mobs running around here, so we're going to have to be on the lookout. This was a very dangerous environment. As you, ooh, see? Some things never change. Um, you know, a couple of cool things that uh, I've done since last time we've been on Let's Play is I've added a couple scenarios. Uh, ooh, wrong one. Look at all that already. I've added a Facebook page for Monkey Boy, so be sure to check that out. And also, we uh, got a Twitter account for Monkey Boy as well. So you can kind of keep up with what's going on and see when the videos are up and if anything new and exciting is happening. Most of these guys are probably falling from above. So once they finish falling on us we should be all right so right above us here where that spider is let's see if we can get him a little fall damage helps too we got to get up in there so to do that um, I'm gonna do some digging here and it probably won't be very eventful all right here we are this is the first step into the banded mine shaft Let's see what we can find. I've already heard a lot of mobs yelling at me, so maybe it could be exciting. Ooh, like this guy here. Oh, he can't even back up fast enough. The mayhem has started. See if I can stay calm. I get a little excited and jittery on the controls. Now I just like to get through here and get it lit up. We'll come back and definitely uh, take all the resources out of here. But I want to make it a safe environment first. Wow, this is kind of unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I hear a lot of skeletons too, so I wouldn't be surprised if we came across a spawner. I just never seen an area here where there's just fence posts and really no path. 
Okay, well, we made it down to redstone level. Might be handy for us. Oh, there's a spider spawner. Okay. At least we got something going more than we've had. I've been going through here for quite some time with nothing. And they're poisonous, so this could get a little bit dangerous. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's get our food up. I need food to survive. Oh gosh. You know what we should have brought? We're going to need some buckets of milk if this gets too ugly. We need to get far enough away from them. Maybe they won't spawn. Until we get... Ooh, my goodness. What are we going to do with these guys? Holy cow. You know what? This isn't healthy for either. No health. Not healthy. Shoot a man in the back. All right, let's see if we can get some other action up in here. Finally, we get something going. Ooh, you know what that is. That's a spawner too. Okay, so we've got some action here. Let's see what we can come up with. I know I saw a creeper over here too. Ooh, spider jockey. That's a spider spawner, I'd imagine. See if we can hurry up and throw a torch at least somewhat close. You know what? We're going to take an alternate route too. Let's get some lights in here. Need some lights, need some lights. Oh, good. There they are, the melon seeds we've been looking for. Now we really don't want to fill our inventory with a bunch of stuff, so... We will... Let's go ahead and break this chest. Let's get ourselves a little safe area here. Just enough to watch her back. And I think this will have to be the spot right there. That way, just in case something crazy happens, we've got our goods in here. Food will keep, rail we don't need. And I'm sure the extra cobblestone won't be needed either. All right, let's see if we can, we don't want to go through there. Gravel will fall down. Can we see anything? Yeah. That is a spider spawner, that is for sure. Well, here's what we're gonna do. That spider spawner is right about here, and it's on my level that I'm on. So we're going to come through here underneath. So it's probably three blocks. Uh huh. All right. Ooh. How you doing, man? Jerk. He just comes drops in my house like this. All right, so let's go down one more. In the meantime, let's just go ahead and do some damage to these guys. You're done, you're done. And these guys are being tough, huh? All right, let's see if we can get something on there, good. That's a start. Alright, I think that should be good enough until we can come around here. What are you doing right there? Fence post is saving my day right now with these spiders. Oh, you're not poisonous because you're not. You're in a dungeon. Dungeon spiders, I don't believe, are poisonous. So if there's cobblestone around, usually that means you're safe. And there's no chests in here. And you can attack these guys. Ooh. They can come through there, so obviously, you know, we've got ourselves a small spider spawner. Need more food, need more food. 
So with the little guys, man, they're poisonous. The big guys, I think, are the ones that are over here, are not poisonous. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little sick to my stomach with all this poison running through my veins. Come on, let's go. This poison is killing me, man. I mean, really, it's going to kill me. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think I can afford that much longer. Come on, let's get some health going here. These are impossible, man. Wow. Well, maybe we got this thing disarmed finally. I get so focused on trying to make it happen. And look, there's a spawner right behind it too. So we sound like we got ourselves a zombie spawner on top of this spider spawner right next to each other. So let's get this thing completely lit for all safety purposes. And next, let's see what this zombie spawner brings us. We're just going to beat right through the wall. And there you boys are. I think I can get a torch in there. Yep. All right. We're just going to waste some arrows on these boys until we can get them down a little bit. You know, even better yet, let's dig into the side of this thing here. There's the mossy. So I'm thinking maybe like right... Well, look, let's see if it's right here. Yeah. So all we need to do... Come on, on my way. Yeah, I'm away. Got work to do. Well, there's one. I'm going to go ahead and Rambo in this thing. Let's get something to eat. Hey, we got a chest in this one. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That one goes down again. Let's see what's over here. Not too bad. Another name tag. We got plenty of saddles. Maybe we can saddle up all our horses. Not a big fan of the zombie spawner. Not sure I want to do a whole lot with that. If we need to create a spider farm, we will. But maybe we'll find a band of mine shaft closer to the house. Alright, there's a couple spiders in here that might want to play. Let's see, where are you? Yeah, not seeing him. Oh, there he is. He's dropped down above my head. Where are you? Yeah, you're up there. Got him. Alright, let's see what we've got here. We're going to have to make a choice of what items we take back home, what items we keep here. I did get six diamonds. That was out of three diamond ore. Thanks to the Fortune 2, I doubled... Uh, I doubled my collection on that, so that's nice. Um, let's see here. I don't think I'm going to pick up anything else along the way, so we'll get that uh, 
definitely need gunpowder that's going to give a splash potion so that's going to be beneficial I think I'm going to take the rail out of here and the fence because we could use that as well now that stuff there I think I'm good with leaving behind even that don't need bones got plenty of bones we'll go ahead and take the string possibly for later so what we're going to do is I'm going to trek my way back home made it back home so the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and till some land up we're just going to plant these melon seeds it's going to take a little bit for them to grow and you did see if you watched the SMP episode that I put up last time um, you've seen the whole splash potion, potion process so I'm not going to bore you with that again but what we need to work on now is we need to get some skellies churn in here so we're going to turn that on and then we're also going to turn that on we're going to go and let those guys get to going a couple tools that I really would like to come up with right now I got a fortune 3 pickaxe but I don't want to use that for digging so I want to work on enchanting another pickaxe another shovel would be great if I could get unbreaking with efficiency at the same time that would speed up our build process as we need to get more of those so I want to do two enchants I want to do one for sure on a pickaxe and then one I want to do on a shovel see if we can get something a little better because I need to quit messing around we need to get a building up on this thing and we'll need all these tools to do it so let's start with this pickaxe since I do have 32 experience points from our last mining expedition let's see here I always go with the first one maybe it's the wrong thing to do but let's see uh, oh, that's almost too good efficiency four on breaking three fortune three wow that thing's amazing now with the fortune three on it I'm not even sure that I want to use it for digging you know what with the unbreaking three though it might just be the guy we want to use regardless we're gonna take this uh, this newly made diamond pickaxe we're gonna enchant it see if we can get more of a work axe who knows maybe I'll get another great one that's exactly what we're looking for efficiency 4 and breaking 3 that'll allow us to do some work uh, up top which already kinda got it started I also hope that we got some melons over there by now. Nope, sure don't have any melons yet. So basically here we made a little tree farm. Well, I didn't have to hit him. Uh, and what this is is just a pillar up to seven blocks. And that'll let the tree grow without having to grow uh, it's so big that it branches off with extra extra sections of the tree because once it branches off they're really hard to farm all right let's see what we've got I'll get that going in the meantime let's just use this we'll make some bone meal with it Ooh, needs more bones but basically we can just bone mill those and they'll grow side by side each other and then we can come through with uh, our beautiful diamond axe which we might as well get that too and chop it down and just start all over again it's kind of nice using the oak wood too because you get apples for golden apples later on if needed so that'll be good all right Let's see if we can make some of these grow. Whoop, right in my face. I think I was inside that tree. Yeah, that one pooped out pretty big. All right, so we're just gonna get in here and chop this thing up so it'll spawn more. We'll get more of these uh, saplings out of it. Get more apples maybe. Perfect. 
and we'll just keep doing that and we'll plant them till they get all the way out to here so that one's right above me I'm going to place a dirt block there and then that way we know where the end of the farm's going to be watermelons they take a long time so what I need to do obviously is I've got a work pickaxe finally and I need to make sure that I don't break it what efficiency is on it? Efficiency 4. We could combine it possibly with that other pickaxe too and make it efficiency 5. Which that would be pretty solid. Because it'll last a long time definitely. Uh, with unbreaking on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and continue to clear this out. And uh, once I get it all cleared out we'll come uh, start laying this thing out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, it's taken a long time and a lot of work to get here. But that's okay, because now we've got plenty of great tools like this axe, shovel, the pickaxe. It's been working really good. So now we can get to some building. Oh, wow. We've got ourselves a watermelon. I think we're going to do something with that as well. Um, I think I'm going to replant it so we can get more going. But here gives you an overhead view of what the plans are going to be. From this torch up and across, this is going to be more of the, you know, the courtyard, the front section. The building is going to take place from here back to the back and come around. So th this is going to be kind of like a, almost like a court building or um, a city building, but it's going to be our uh, it's going to be our monument for Monkeyville. So we're going to get down and we're going to get start building on this thing in this episode. We won't get very far, but uh, it'll kind of give you an idea of what we're going to do and part of the building process takes a lot of time looking and and doing and stepping back and and making sure you like it. So you know, it can be a tedious task, and I don't want to drag you guys through that. So a lot of the building is going to be off camera. All right, let's see what we have. We got ourselves a watermelon. Now these should produce seeds in here. So I got three seeds. Now I, was, I wonder if I used a looting on there, if I would have got anything more. Not sure. Oh, he's a producer. Well, let's see. Well, this is a looting. But then, this is fortune. So let's see what he does. Ooh, look at that. Got four instead of three. Maybe that's a trick to that. Okay, let's hoe this piece of dirt and let's get more of these seeds going. That's gonna be great. And the cool thing about it, you can't bone mill it to make more melons, but you can definitely bone mill it to get the stems to grow. So we can get it up to its mature state, and then it should be able to get us some, uh, some melons, so that'll be good. And right now, I'm just planting around the little pond here, and I've got a little... Uh, little garden over there as well. I'll get into more of a farm, uh, automatic farming and, and that kind of stuff later. So, oh good, number one sprouted a melon too. So we're, we're doing good on that. So the, the first thought that I'm looking at is making this entrance uh, kind of spread out a little more. I want it to kind to ooh, get the right tool in my inventory there. Um, I want this staircase to kind of fan out. So I'm going to put some things here. And we'll see if we can get this thing to fan a little more. And then this one will come out here. So it has maybe effect of being able to enter on both angles. Now I don't know how my redstone is going to affect that on this side, but we'll see what we can come up with. And I may have to reroute some redstone on the creeper uh, trap here to see. See, I'm not sure there either, but 
Did we go three at the top still? No, there's four at the top now. Which, mm, we'll play with that. Because really, I mean, if you look at it, we probably will want a two door entrance on a building like this. So four might be good. So maybe we just fan this out to here. And then that'll create more of an inviting entrance from the base going up. So that'll be good. I think that's the way we're going to go with it. And then that way these two blocks can be the entrance. And of course, this will become obsolete. It'll become some sort of staircase and to be able to go down to the basement. The entrance beyond that, I want to do more of an arch. But I want pillars. So it's going to be kind of like a four block, uh, four block pillar. And every, every base is going to have some sort of feeding footing to it. Let's see. We'll put that there. Maybe get that in. There we go. Now this side won't really matter because it's going to be the front of the building. And it may affect that block too, but that's fine. And then it's basically we're just going to go up. And actually, you know what we could do too? Like I said, it's kind of part of the building process is just kind of looking and doing. So let's go get these ones here, these half slabs. They're smooth stone half slabs. And using those, we'll get more of a pillared effect, I believe. And we could even do, I mean, let's play with it a little bit. What if we do, hmm, I don't know if it'll work, but let's, let's just run with it and see if it'll get, turn the corner for us over here, or if it'll just go back to back. See, that'll be good too. And then I'm wondering if we can, let's go up. Okay, now this side's the only side that didn't, which is gonna be fine, because that's gonna be part of the arch. And then even upside down, Would be pretty good too. What I do with my shovel? I'm not gonna be chopping down trees right now. So if we put a dummy block right there, let's see if we can make some upside upside down stairs match. Back up. What we just did. So let's do upside down upside down and then let's finish it out on this side and see if it turns again. Yeah, perfect. So as you see that that's going to create a little bit of a, a pillar look to it. And who knows, we may change it up, you know, because this may not look great once we get up to the top or as high as we want to go with it. And this will give us a break and and how this is all coming together so that the colors don't continue to flow the same over and over. So we'll play with that and kind of come up with the, the final on it. But what I want this to do is I just want it to have a nice arch that comes down the other side, mirror that pillar to that pillar, and then all the corners will have pillars going up with some style on them of the building. But for this episode, that's going to conclude it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We got a lot done today. Um, where we at right now is we're able to, you know, do a do a lot more building. We've got the tools, so it goes a little faster. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please uh, put a thumbs up on there so we know if you like it or not. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Later.